Hello, welcome back to Rev Enduring Sports and another edition of what is in our stand today. Today we're going to talk about the Nexus 3-speed internally geared hub from Shimano and, um, and how to remove the attachment to get the wheel out. But before we get into that, if you would please uh, subscribe to the channel, like it, hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. I typically will post things that will involve either bike service or product reviews or whatever comes to mind and whatever I want to share with you folks. So if you find or if you think you might find that subject matter interesting, please don't hesitate to subscribe and support the channel. Uh, so today, um, it you know, so I run a high end shop and <laughs> interestingly enough, I also get beach cruisers in here and um, they're the nicest people and they just they just want their bike repaired and um, during this pandemic it's been very difficult for uh, bike shops to keep up with the workload and so a lot of times they'll call me after they've called two or three other bike shops and those shops have told them well it'll be four to six weeks before we can get to your bike or three to you know three to five weeks it's not usually less than three weeks let's just say that and we're in San Diego weather's been very nice or it is typically really nice all year round so um, there is no there is some type of seasonal flow but ever since the pandemic and the lockdown happened people have been really really out riding um, a lot more than normal i think and so a lot of the bikes beach cruisers hybrids and things like that ended up in my shop as well just people wanting to get out because they couldn't get to the gym they couldn't do other things they couldn't travel and so on and kids bikes yes i get kids bikes as well uh, there's one back here a uh, pretty interesting little setup where you only grab one brake and it will uh, apply brakes evenly to the front and rear wheel and of course there's a argon 18 back here with uh, carbon wheels and all that other stuff and the di2 bike that i worked on earlier so i have to be a master of all or jack of all trades and master of well hopefully at least the roadside okay so there'll be a rough transition but i i want to get a close-up of what we have to do here so So if you're not familiar, this is what is called an internally geared system. And I think it's perfect for beach cruisers because you know a lot of people don't maintain these very well. Obviously, a beach cruiser is going to be exposed to the elements quite a bit while in use. But I also find that a lot of these bikes just, they park them outside. They, they're not in a garage. Sometimes... You may be an apartment dweller and you may have it on your balcony. So basically this one is a three speed and you've only got one cog and uh, the chain and the cog are the only things you have to maintain as opposed to having multiple exposed cogs that, you know, can get either corrosion or sand or any of those kinds of things. So much easier to maintain, much easier to clean. And this in particular is a coaster brake style and I'll get around the other side so you can see that. So I've prepped this a little bit just before uh, starting the video, but this right here is the attachment that will then have a post coming from the inside of the hub coming out to here and based on the cable tension and all that that'll help it shift so this right here is what's holding this on to the lug nut that is holding the wheel onto the frame so what we're going to do 
since I've already loosened this before I started this video. This bolt right here, loosen it, and you can just pull that off, and that exposes the axle nut. And this is what goes inside the gear hub to assist it in shifting um, gears. In this case, it has a three-speed internal geared hub. And then on this side, I've also disconnected this, but this is your bolt and nut that will hold the coaster brake. And some of you might remember from being a kid that a coaster brake is a type of brake that you pedal backwards and that is what stops the bike. This is also a nice little setup because there's no exposed brake pads, uh, cabling, or anything like that to get even more corrosion uh, being seaside, right? So this is a great little setup, internally geared hub with a coaster brake, no brake cables or anything to adjust, very low maintenance for the customer. All right, so now once you have loosened both of these axle nuts, then you can just remove the wheel. So that's what we're gonna do now. I've already loosened these and basically once I turn that a little bit, then the wheel's gonna fall out. And that's it. That's all. You just do everything in reverse order to put this back together. And if you're curious, this is what the inside of that attachment is going to look like. And this particular bike is going to get two new tires, two new tubes, and then back together for the customer. Okay, that's all for today. Just a quick video on taking apart a Nexus three-speed hub attachment or internally geared hub so that you can change the tube and tire if necessary. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you. We do appreciate those that have subscribed. And if you haven't, feel free to do so. It's a great way to support the channel. Hit that like button and we'll see you up the road.